Halloween is coming close, and we just got a very spooky update on Real Citizens. Let's see what it's all about. Hi, my name is Latora. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do a whole lot of Real Citizens content, so if you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel and gives me clout. Anyways, let's check out his new update. So when you first spawn in, you get this very nice message telling you about all the new things that were added to this update. Very nice. You can see that Henry is now wearing a witch hat, and the bushes around has turned yellow. Besides that though, I don't think there's anything else here that's new. So we've just arrived at a clothing store. There are quite a bit of new clothes to choose from. Here we have some costumes and Halloween related accessories. I'm going to put them all on real quick and we'll continue on with the other new stuff. So if you remember from the last update we had, the placement update, this is what they were in the middle of constructing this lot. It's a festival and it seems quite similar to last year's. So at the entrance, we have a sign saying it's a second annual Halloween festival because it was something they started last year. And inside the festival, we actually have some new attractions that we didn't see with last year's festival. So by the entrance, we have this spinny cup thing that's similar to what you see at Disneyland. I've always hated this ride because it always made me nauseous. We also got a ferris wheel right here. I think it's the same one from last year, just at a different location. What's cool about this update is that you are now able to carve out pumpkins to make jack-o'-lanterns. So here, you have three size options for your pumpkins, and you can choose a variety of expressions for your pumpkins. I think these are free, so that's pretty cool. Over here, we have a... Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, I don't actually know what the ride is called. It's just a ride that basically brings you up all the way to the top and drops you down really fast. And here, we have a couple of tents set up where you can buy some fruits and vegetables like pumpkin and corn and it's basically like a, a farmer's market type of thing. We also got a costume photo shoot thing that you can take of yourself and or your friends and post it on Twitter with the hashtag Real Citizens. Nearby is a concession stand for unhealthier foods. I'm pretty sure we've seen these foods in the past. Here we have cotton candy, chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, popcorn, hot dogs, and pretzels. I'm not gonna lie, thinking of these foods right now is making me kinda hungry. So across the street is what seems to be a graveyard. So one of my favorite parts of this update is that you are now able to trick or treat. To do this, you need to wait until around 8 o'clock p.m. in game time, then some message will pop up. Once you're over at the trick or treating place, the trick or treating will start. This is sort of like a quest where you will be put into a team, and you will have to go against another team to see which team gets more candy. The winner of this will earn additional cash and candy. So if we were to move over to the house plots, we can now see these new houses. These aren't actually player owned houses. I'm actually in a private server right now, you can't already tell. These houses are actually randomly generated and you can actually ring the doorbells to receive candy. You can use your candy to buy a variety of really nice items. Here we have the seer which is a really unique item since it has a cool optical illusion to it. We also have the haunted manor which is a limited home and it was released two years ago. This is also really good news since a lot of people want this home to return. I would say it's one of the most unique homes that we've had in the game. We also have an inflatable ghost and it seems like there's a broomstick that's coming soon. I'm not sure when but it could be for the second party update. And to spawn in a house you just click on one of these fake houses and spawn in your house. It's a cool feature for them to include trick or treating. I'm just concerned how this would play out for new players joining the game for the first time. It's already hard enough for new players to know how to spawn in a house when they're first starting out. Okay, so while we are here, let me show you the newly added furniture. We actually have a lot of Halloween limiteds this year, which is pretty cool. So the first item here looks like a hospital bed. I think it would be perfect for an abandoned asylum or something, maybe a haunted house. So here we have some more beds. This one just says rest in peace on it, and here lies, so I assume these are, these are based on headstones. Then, we have these desk decorations that just says boo on it. There's also wall fixtures that says the same thing as those desk decorations. We also have what seems to be bookshelves and they're warped a bit to give a spooky vibe. And here are the same bookshelves but with cobwebs. And here we have a broom ceiling fixture. It looks similar to the modern ceiling fixture we already had. We now also have headstones that you can place in your backyard to create a cemetery. I believe that there was a headstone from last year's update that we can earn from the quest, but it's cool that the developers included them in the shop so that we can have more than one headstone so that we are able to make a cemetery or something. We also have a potion thing and a spell book. And these are the items I don't have yet since I don't have enough candy. I'll try to show them to you guys once I have enough. 
We also have these giant inflatable spiders, and I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty scary. Here we have an inflatable stack of jack lanterns, and we also have the return of some of the old limiteds. Here we have a cobweb, a broken mirror, and a candy bowl. Anyways, uh, I think that's all for the vid. Be sure to like if you liked the vid, just like you didn't like it, and comment below to share your thoughts about the update. And yeah, I think that's all I have for this vid. I'll catch you guys later.